Oh lord, they added another lolly. Lads, here we are again on another should you summon. You guys already know the drill. And this time, we got a brand new banner coming out with a brand new unit known as Veronica. I actually don't know too much about this unit because she was never talked about, literally. I never heard anything about her from people who play JP, but after looking over her kit and stuff, she seems pretty solid. Veronica is a unit that is all about the damage, let me tell you. And her kit literally explains it all. She has a 5-star magic, 5-star magic, and a 4-star physical. Her skill increases her own arts by 15. Her normal art increases her damage and her skill CT by 50%, which is pretty nice, but it does reduce her defense, so there is that. Her true art is a whopping 40,000%. She is able to give herself crit chance and damage up by 100%, but she reduces her own stats resistance by 60%, but she also reduces the enemy's damage resistance by 30%. And one of her passes is that she increases her critical damage by 50%. She has a lot of stuff going for her, and her slots are really good. Also, another thing that's really cool about Veronica is that she is a magic damage deal, which is surprising because with a kit like that you would think she would actually be a physical attacker but no she's magic damage including even that she uses a scythe and you're like oh physical and it's like no that's magic she also has a true weapon as well it doesn't seem too crazy for her but if you want to use it it's going to increase her critical damage by a ton which of course in return will be increasing her damage but op what about the banner i'm getting to it bro my bad i want to explain the new unit the banner is actually pretty solid. Of course, we have Veronica, we have Dior, Emira, Water Malia, and Dark Finn. This banner isn't too bad, man. It's not too bad. Very good if you're lacking a lot of the mono support units. So, for example, Dark Finn's amazing for mono dark. Water Malia is amazing for mono water. Emira literally makes E mono what it is. E mono isn't even possible as like a top team if Emira isn't there. And Dior is just uh. <laughs> to give some more thoughts on Veronica, though, I. Think I think that overall she's gonna be a really strong nuker if you're brand new to the game she could be a very valuable attacker because she doesn't need any other support she has a crit buff built into her she has damage up built into her she also reduces the enemy's damage resist so she's doing a lot for you and as a new player this unit could be very very good but however as a veteran player who's been playing the game for you know a very long time who has tons and tons of units at their disposal I think Veronica loses value for you immensely. And I think if you pull her as a veteran, you're really only going to be using her in nuking compositions. Outside of that, you may not really be using her. You could get away with using her as a magic attacker, though, because, you know, of course, she is magic. And if you are lacking magic attackers, you can pick her up, and she's going to do a lot of work for you because she literally has all the offensive buffs pretty much in her kit. But going back to the banner, though, do I think you should summon on it? Well, this banner, like I said, it isn't bad. If you're missing the mono support units, this banner is really good. But if you already have those units then of course the banner kind of loses its value but i'll break it down to you like this all right like i'll if you're new to the game and you didn't get vox or you didn't get swick or you didn't get whoever you were summoning for if you were re-rolling on the knights of blood banners or if you don't have yusuke because yusuke is another very strong magic attacker and you're a new player you may want to try to get veronica because not only are you going to be trying to get veronica the other units on the banner are going to help you as well even though water malia is really meant for water teams she can be used on any team because of her 100% crit buff that she gives to everybody. Darkfin is another unit that you can use on any team because he is a really strong arts jenner, but keep this in mind, if you go for Darkfin and you're a new player, don't use him alongside Earthfin because they don't stack. So yeah, if you want to try to throw some crystals this way as a new player, maybe try to pick up Veronica because she's a really strong magic attacker, then do it, but if you're not really worried about it, you have a pretty solid team right now, you can easily skip the banner. If you're an intermediate or veteran player though, here's what I gotta tell you. If you care about Veronica, you know, you like her design, you think she's really cool, or you know, you just want her as a magic nuker, or whatever the case may be, then of course, you know, try to summon for her. Or another reason why you would summon would of course be to get one of the mono support units. D Finn or E Mira, I know a lot of people want these guys. A lot of people. This could be the banner that you get it off of. Of course, keep in mind though that if you're trying to get these units, you may not have to break your crystal bank for it. You could break your Alk bank because of the 5k Alk banner here currently. Of course, that pool is heavily diluted compared to this summon pool. But I mean, hey, you could try your luck at that if you're swimming an Alk instead of summoning on this banner to try to get one of those units. I think Water Malia is not on that banner though. If you want Veronica, or if you are missing one of the support units and you think that you need them for your mono teams, then definitely try to get it. But if you don't care about any of that stuff, you're fine using your team. You don't think you need Water Malia. You don't think you need Dark Finn. You don't think you need e -Mira, Then you can skip this banner. And I think for a lot of people, including myself, this banner is a 
skip. For one, I have every unit on this banner apart from Veronica. So why would I summon them? And then for two, judging by the stuff that's coming out, man, especially because a new Sokka is going to be coming along, which is going to be Sacred Union. You may want to save for some of that stuff, even though none of the Sacred Union units are like super broken. But yeah, man, I think you may want to just be saving your crystals and stuff and just stock up while you can. But I think this banner is super beneficial as a new player and definitely recommend maybe throwing a multi-edit. But guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all for coming out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more. Of course, I wish you guys the best of luck because there's a lot of banners coming out uh, with the next maintenance. We have this banner, we have the true weapon banner coming out, and then we also have the summer equips coming back as well. I may be trying to throw some crystals at that because I want to get some Finn Aloha shorts, but that's just me though. But thank you all again, man. You guys have been killing the support on the channel recently and I cannot thank you guys enough. But last but not least, man, don't forget to drink water.